E-Lead Electronic is the designer and manufacturer of the NOAA Pad UMPC, Ultra Mobile PC. A lot of information, a lot of excitement at, uh, here at Computex coming as far as a lot of UMPCs go. They have a very cool one. The sales account manager with E-Lead Electronic is Tom Huang. Is, it, is that how you pronounce your name, Huang? Yes, yes, okay. Huang. Huang. Okay, yeah. Tom, how are you? Fine, thank you. Good. Tell us about the NOAA Pad. Very yeah. cool looking device. Okay, NOAAPAD is very small, tiny, uh, ultra mobile PC. Okay, most of the computers, now they are making it bigger and bigger, but we keep it in this small size, so it's easier for users to tag it with, uh, maybe in traveling, or uh, when you are out of the, uh, the office, you are doing some work outside, so it will be easy to handle it. So this is a, an ultra uh, mobile, mobile PC. Yes. So it's very, very small, seven-inch screen, but it, yet it's easy to work with. You're doing some very unique things. It's not the standard keyboard, a keypad that we're used to. Mm -hmm. And in fact, uh, you're calling it the world's largest mouse surface, and you're not really uh -huh. even using a mouse. Tell us about the keypad here. Okay. Actually, we merged the keypad, uh, the mouse pad, with the keyboard. Good. together so uh, when you see at the uh, look at the uh, no pad you will see two big pads uh, it will be at right right hand and also your left hand got gotcha. you so, so imagine the mm -hmm. keyboard for our, our listening audience uh, yeah. sort of cut in half and okay. being two large pieces right yes two okay. large pieces and uh, for the right pad is for mouse use and for, for left pad is to move the screen because uh, we want to solve the, the problems uh, for small PC users, yeah. uh, for small PC users, there is always uh, two biggest problem. One is uh, they will have two small keypad. Yeah. Okay. Second is uh, in high resolution uh, mode, when they look at this uh, seven inch uh, display, they was uh, in high resolution the font will be too small, but in low resolution the icons will occupy the the. the desktop very soon, yeah. so you don't have too much space for work. Yeah. So we create a virtual 10-inch screen for, for users, so you can move the screen by uh, touch the left pad and move, move the screen. Excellent. And for those listening on the radio, know that you can swing by our website, intotomorrow.com or graveline.com, mm -hmm. and watch the video of Tom demonstrating the things that he is talking about here. It's really cool to have a 7-inch screen, but it's really a virtual 10-inch screen. Now, does this, want, does this run on Windows or Linux? What's the operating system? Okay. Uh, we pre-install Linux system, but users, they can uh, change the OS to Windows SP. So... It's quite easy, and uh, they can go to our website, www.noapad.com, and uh, there will be a download area for Windows uh, SP drivers. Oh, okay. uh, we provide our drivers in that area, so they can download and uh, install the drivers by themselves. Now, you're announcing the Noapad here in Taiwan at Computex mm -hmm. Taipei, available this month here yeah. in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. How soon before we might be able to see them and get them in stores in the United States? Uh, of course, we hope to be uh, as soon as possible, but uh, we are still discussing with uh, some channels, okay? But uh, I think maybe it will be available soon, in fr uh, maybe from website or from some of uh, web shoppings, yeah. Okay, and do you have an idea of, as to a suggested price that we might expect to pay for the NOAAPAD? Okay, in any US, dollars. U.S. dollars. Okay. Yes. In U.S. dollars, it's, it will be uh, 550 yeah. $550. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very cool for all that it can do. Um, why did you choose the processor that you, choo that you chose? I understand it's a VIA C7 processor. Yep. Uh, is that also because of its small size and, and capabilities? Or? Yes, yes. Uh, of course, uh, size is very important for us. And of course, uh, power consumption is another reason. And uh, I think the biggest reason is that at the moment, I think Intel is not available for such kind of... Uh, low price uh, chipset. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Of course, uh, here at the show, they're also, Intel is announcing Atom and yeah. uh, AMD announcing Puma, I believe. Mm -hmm. So the more smaller processors and smaller chipsets for these kinds of devices. Yeah. But in the meantime, it's a, a VIA C7 doing the job for you. Yes. Excellent. NoahPad.com for more information. When you visit our site, we'll link you to Tom's site. You'll see what he's up to. Tom, thanks for joining us here at Computex. Thank you, Dad.